Welcome to this channel. Here we just do fashion, looks, beauty, lifestyle, and good vibes. So today, as per the title of the video, I'm just going to share my secret with you guys. I'm going to tell you how much I have been heartbroken this year. Starting last year, 2020, to this year, I have been heartbroken so many times like four times and i want to tell you so <laughs> i think most of you are thinking like i'm going to start mentioning names you know i used to love this guy and he had broke me he doesn't love me anymore and then we end up things bro 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 i have better things stressing me and those are going to be my businesses I am a businesswoman. If you have not met me, I am a businesswoman or a business oriented or I'm a hustler, you know. Yeah. So I have started businesses in my life. In this life, you know, I have done businesses and I have done four businesses so far. Um and all the businesses that I ever did failed. Have you ever failed four times? This is doing a business, or rather, I have tried businesses four times. Four businesses, four times. If you get my point. And all the four times I have tried, I have failed miserably. Like, I even cried to my mom, told her, if money is not my thing, let me just focus on other things but yeah you can fail in life but you pick up yourself and keep moving so i want to talk about which businesses and the mistakes i made in the businesses and why exactly they failed because of the mistake background noise and i'm sorry for that i have written down the four businesses that i did because I need you to get my point and I want you to feel my pain. Okay? Yeah. I, I'm going to tell you everything and I'm going to quote figure. Because I, I have made losses that I don't know what I'm going to do to ever recover them. So, and the point of this video is that I have decided to start afresh. I'm going to start afresh because what happens if something you've always been doing is not doing what you expected, you just start over. You don't cry and give up. You start over and do better. So that's my plan. I have done four businesses and all the four businesses have failed. So it's not easy not easy and me being a student the money that the little cash that i was saving so that i can like start a biashara it's not like money that i used to get all the time so i just decided let me save a thousand another thousand so that i can do this and that to see if i get profit and what do i get what losses Big, massive, massive losses, my friend. That's why I'm so heartbroken. Let me first list the businesses that I have done. Crochet business during Corona period. Makeup artist. Business they are called Casey Tops, me selling clothes. And then the reason business that I'm doing is my care by Casey. I'm doing people's hair, but at least this one, like it's doing better as compared to the others. So, 
I've always been a makeup artist. Um, I like doing makeup because I do it so well, like you can see. People that we go to the same school know that I am a makeup artist. Um, but I stopped after that, after whatever happened. Happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. Last year, March, there was um, there's something in our school we call Kachamon Week. So there was Kachamon Week. And me, I got an order. Like, I got a. Uh, uh, what do I call it? I got a tender. Let me call it a tender. From the modeling department for two. And they gave me nine models that I was supposed to do makeup on. Um, each model was going to pay me 900, no, 1000, and I give them a free pair of lashes, deeming lashes. So let me tell you guys Corona was announced, Magoha shut all the schools, and Casey, I had gone to Shiko, Nikamambia Shiko, you know what? Sent me 15 pairs of lashes that I don't know they costed me 1500. I went to town, I bought a foundation that is not even my shade dark chocolate i know i don't know i still have the the, the the foundation here so let me tell you the school was closed the everybody's going home the cultural week was cancelled like so every money i spent you know I, I you spend money expecting profit as a business person of course you you spend money like you take like Let's say um, 3K, you say this is my capital, I'm going to buy this and this, and when I do this on my clients, I'm gonna make like double the profit or triple. My friend, I lost everything. <laughs> I lost everything. I took my L and I went home. So in that Biashara, I did have a mistake. There's nothing me I did. The government closed the schools. Yeah, I was ready to do business, but circumstances made it not possible so I failed as a businesswoman so I stopped doing makeup I can't touch someone's face I stopped because that was some where do I take 15 lashes pairs of lashes where do I take 15 pairs of lashes because I just had to take my L and go home <laughs> because I took my L. Yeah, so that was my first failed business and yeah. The next business that I started now now makeup has failed now, Casey. What's next? Hmm? You need to get another Biashara going. So, Corona now, Corona has happened. We've gone home. Hmm? We are at home. Me, I'm idle. I don't have anything to do. I went to the shop. I bought yarn. You know yarn? Uzi. The one for Shonai. Morning, like someone who is being paid. Take one yarn and make a top. Tomorrow, finish that top. Like, I used to take like two days to, to like shona one top and finish it so i used to do like um three tops a week tell me how many tops i did how many tops did i need like the crochet tops you know them i did so many tops and i still have them to date not even one piece was purchased i'm just like what what am i not doing right and then my dad was always telling me, wow, these tops are so cute. And the fact that you're in Mombasa and it's hot, why well, people have got to love them, they will buy. Hey, they motivated me. Way, way, Casey, me, ni, na, ni, ni, li, shona. Ni, li, shona. And I, I was so, I had so much faith that when I land in Mombasa like this and I just post them on my status, you know, crochet tops available, color green, color what, people are going to come running and buying, my friend. <laughs> Nobody bought a single crochet top from me. No one, not even my friends. No one. Now walizipima, walizipima sana, walizipima, wakaziva. But they never bought even a piece. I still have all the tops that I made. Let me just show them. Let me show you the tops. 
they were full in this bag. So if I tell you how cute the tops were, you're just gonna wonder, like, why would people not purchase such cute pieces from me? Because I made all the most attractive colors, I made some, I decorated, I did everything that, you know, you can do. Look at this, look at this, you guys. Look at how cute these tops are. Look at how attractive they are. I made so many, like I have so many, all colors in short, designs. I made different designs. I would wake up every day and make these things. I failed. My Biashara failed. I still have them. I don't know where I'm gonna take them. Should I wear them? Or remove the Uzi and return it to the shop owner? I just don't know. It's so frustrating. You could just buy even one piece, my friends. Why? That was another failed Biashara from Yani. I just called my mom, I told her, guess what mom? Nobody has bought even a single top. So in this business, the mistake that I think I did, maybe I put the price a little bit high because I was selling one piece at uh, 500 shillings. So I think, maybe that's expensive, but you could bargain. Bro, you could tell me that's too much. I punguza for you. You just buy one piece from me. I have made so many. It was another thing business. Still have my tops. I just admire them in the house. Like I made them to just sit with them in the house. That's how I feel. And I'm so disappointed. And so sometimes embarrassed. But why am I? Everybody fails and they pick themselves up and they go. So the mistake I thought uh, was the mistake that I made, I think probably the price. But like I've said, unge bagain, tunge onge abiyashara. Now, crochet tops are failed. Why can't I just go for the normal tops and sell the normal tops, the normal material tops? So I went to wherever I got my tops from, I started selling them online. First week, hey, I was making money, money, money. But did I, you know what, the mistake I did in this business, business, the mistake I made in this particular business, I used to tell someone, someone sees that top and it's like, hi babe, Ini, how much? I tell them, oh, this one is 200. Oh wow, Nataka, let me send you. And then, me, instead of telling them, please send 300 for parcel because you are in Kisumu or Eldoret or Kitui or Nairobi. How do I? Will I throw the top to you like this? No, I need to parcel it. But did I used to ask for transport money? No. Because what? I thought I was finiliaring the customer. Like, me now, me a customer instead of Kujibe, Kujibe benefit. Do, why would you buy a top at 200 and then parcel it with 300? Doesn't make sense, right? Me, that was my thinking. I suffered. <laughs> I suffered. I made losses. I made total losses. I never, I even have a, a, a like, there's someone who bought six, oh no. Who sent me 600 which is three tops i still have the tops from february i still have the tops so what i'm going to do i'm just going to refund her the money because because how am i gonna do it but the one who made the mistake of not telling clients 300 for parcel so next time i'm reviving this business of mine because it must come back I'm gonna include that. I don't care if the top is 20 bob, please just send 300 for parcel. You can make losses. You can make losses if you're not serious. And that is one thing that's really ate up my business. It is shut to down, like, because I'm not making any profit. I'm trying to buy Ninia 200 top, and, I, and she's in ferry or Likoni, wherever. I have to send someone or cross the ferry. And I've not asked for transport. That's a very bad mistake. So if you're a business person, don't make that mistake like I did. 
Okay, I've always learned how to do hair since I was like in class five, or I don't know. It's it's a talent. It's in me. I wasn't taught. I never went to school or anything. It's in me. It's a talent. So how did I learn how to do hair? So many people have been asking. Now let me tell you today. Um, I used to go to a salon. Yeah, another madam who nyumbani and it was Mawea Kamolio. So thank you so much, Mawea. Mawea Kamolio used to tell me. You know, my mom used to tell me in the salon because somewhere like this is a So me, I go to Mawea Kamolio's place. Anani. So I goes two lines for Shule. But before that, if I find her doing hair, like on another client, she tell me, Chukwe is a dolly, ushika shike, nikimaliza sewa mom, and then it's a kuchkua. So me, I take the dollies and I start doing what? Doing braids, doing, and I'm, that time I'm in like class four, five, class three, I'm still like a small girl. And that's how I learned. That's perfected. I'm perfected everything. <laughs> 2020-ish, 2019 December, around there. I used to do people's hair, and they never used to pay me. Let me not address that today. I started this can be a shara. No, I I came live to people. I came live to people like uh, Jana Juzi, like last month-ish, around September. Yeah, September. That's when I came out and I was like, hi guys. Book your hair appointment with me. You know, I do hair, I do all styles. Blah, 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 blah. And people started doing their hair, and I'm telling you, I have made money. This Biashara, I think it's the one. Because this hairstyle, I only do it for 700 shillings. But when you go to town, this is a trending hairstyle. You can't get that. You can't get it at that price. So me, I'm doing at a comrade price, and everybody wants to save coins. So they're gonna call me, babe. Come and do my hair. <laughs> so I've been making money, and I'm so happy this business is thriving. So, yeah, I think this is the business for me, and I'm just going to stick with this one. Period. Yeah, that's the end of my um frustrating Biashara Chronicles <laughs> and the mistakes you've had the mistakes that I made I wasn't asking for transport fee make sure you ask for that if you are an entrepreneur you can't transport the goods with your own money with your own profit the, 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 the buyer has to pay for the goods the good is theirs they have paid for it they have to pay for it to get to them they have to give you money to process the process of getting it to them. Hey, forget me. Then, number two, don't, I think don't get ready too ready before the Biashara. Like that for makeup. Maybe I went ahead, I bought earrings, uh, I bought lashes, 15 pairs, I bought foundation for every skin shade, I did what, and then everything failed. But um, I think that Biashara, I shouldn't have given up. I think I just. Two hands, and I was like, to hell, I feel this is too much. Yeah, but don't make such mistakes. Then, each other business. This one for tops, I've already talked about that. This one for crochet tops, I think overpricing. Just put a price range that suits your audience. You know, your target audience. Yeah, put a price range that in our suit. No, see, if you need to and then you're there crying like we are not buying. Because... So that's the end of this video. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've learned a lot from the rant because I, I was just ranting, nothing else. I hope you've learned so much from the ranting that I have done for the few minutes, and I hope it helps you. If you are a business person, don't give up. No matter how many times you fall, wake up. If you stumble and fall, stand up, my friend. Stand up and keep going because one day you'll get your reward. Or if you keep trying many businesses like I did. You know when you go to campus, I know you have your parents' support, but you still need extra money. You know you need to buy like lashes. You, you won't tell your mom, mom, you buy your lashes, but don't you buy your food. No, you're going to ask for, you know. It was not any luxury like lashes and uh, makeup let's say going out to kfc with your friends that's a luxury 
no mesha fanywa shopping kwa nyumba but if you want extra money you can start your own ka ka small ka biashara start selling clothes buy my eye you boy you go and sell because she less to the center that's biashara and at the end of the day when you buy him kono to you gonna get like 500 and that's a lot that's something by the way so if you are a like a a biashara person take heart it's really really, really not easy but it's even so impressive that you're making an effort to make your own money you know that's so impressive that you you know putting an effort yeah so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you've learned and i know you've learned leave me a comment in the comment section and make sure you share this video to your friends who are struggling with their biasharas tell them to take heart me i've tried for businesses here i am my fourth business ndio inashika moto ndio inaanza ku rise and i'm planning to like stick with that so encourage your friends tell them mana vlog ya kesi mana video ya kesi ya kesema you know encourage them don't make them cry and commit suicide because of biashara yenye yeli no there's so much to life than biashara in my faith so yeah take care and if you save more you get more profit and if you're consistent you're gonna get the fruits If you are lazy and unasema wewe ni entrepreneur maybe sometimes I'm usually lazy but I'm not going to be I am <laughs> Sometimes I am but I really need to try okay So thank you so much guys till next time always remember to make your heart the most beautiful thing about you Bye.